Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Senate. In this video, we are going to learn how to using simple actions. So let's start. So as you can see here, this is my workflow with the name sample workflow. And in my workflow, if I go to the actions, so you can see all the workflows. So here you can see all my workflows. So now here we are going to learn how to using simple actions. So let's start. So firstly, we need to clone our repository. So go to the code and copy the HTTPS. And here I'm using git bash. So run the command git clone and paste the HTTP code to clone our repository. So, okay, it's done. Now, go to the C drive and here you can see our repository with the name sample workflow. Okay, now here I'm using Visual Studio. So now open our folder. So click on open folder and search our repository, our repository name, sample workflow. So here is our sample workflow and click on select folder. Okay. So now you can see in my repository, I have one folder dot git and then readme.md file. In github file, the another folder workflow and then here, here you can see my workflow with the name sample.yaml. So now I'm going to create one more workflow. So you can create number of workflow in our repository. So now click on new file. So my workflow name will be action.yaml. Now here, let's start our workflow. So firstly, we need to enter name tag. So name will be action workflow. Then second on. Then jobs. So in job ta job tag here, I'm going to enter run GitHub Actions. Then double space and here runs on Ubuntu latest. After that, steps. In steps, firstly, name tag. So, name will be simple. JavaScript action. Okay. After that, uses. So uses actions colon hello world JavaScript action. So that's the repository at the rate version one. So here I'm using very simple GitHub actions and that action written in JavaScript. So here you can see at the rate V1. So here you can see this is our repository, the name hello world JavaScript action and version V1. After that, with, with tag colon, then double space. 
to to greet so here i'm going to enter devops hint then now name tag second name tag and second name tag will be get the output time sorry there is no problem then space then run and in run i'm going to print so enter echo then colon dollar rebrace and here enter steps dot here enter your id names so my id name will be hello dot outputs dot type steps dot hello dot outputs dot type and here you need to mention your id name id so my id will be hello okay so here you can see firstly name tag so name name is action workflow on push job then runs on ubuntu latest okay after that step in step here i mentioned name simple javascript action so id is work so hello and uses in actions and here you can say repository hello world javascript action then with devops hint and they get the output time here i am going to print this sentence okay now save the file and now open our terminal so now here i am going to enter command to push my workflow uh, sorry to push my code into my repository so run the command git init then git add space dot then git commit hyphen m and in double quote enter your commit so my commit will be action workflow so it's done then git push so you can see it's done now go to our repository and refresh the page so now go to the actions so now you can see here our first workflow it's succeed now go to this workflow action workflow at sample.yaml this is our action.yaml right that we have just created now go to this workflow and here you can see firstly set up job then simple javascript action and get the output time because here if i go to my file you can see here here and get the output time here i am going to print this sentence so let's check so go to the get the output time and you can see run you can see the run in echo the output time you can see here after that 
go to the sample JavaScript action. And here you can see hello DevOps head. Right? Because here you can see here who to greet. Here I mentioned DevOps head. So that's why here you can see it will print hello DevOps head. And after that, our job is complete. Okay. So that's it. That's the action workflow. So by having actions, we can write uh, less code in our workflow. And also we can use a code uh, that somebody else share that does uh, some command task or we can actually create our own action and share it with all so that they can uh, use it is uh, their workflow right so that's the simple action workflow so in this video we have learned how to use simple actions so thank you for watching our video i hope you like the video and it's helpful to you so please like share and subscribe our devops and channel